And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 6th of February, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. If we start off in Psalm 136, from verse 1 to 26, you can read it yourself. But I want to just tell you one thing that the Lord loves you so much that in this one psalm, no less than 26 times, he says, His mercy endures forever. Isn't that a beautiful assurance for you today as you start this brand new week? And then the other scripture, which is probably the saddest scripture in the whole Bible. It is found in Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Our Lord Jesus does not want one soul to perish but he wants every single one to be saved. John chapter 3 verse 16 is a verse we know off by heart. For God so loved the world, that's you and me, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I can hear somebody saying today, but saved from what? Well, sir, Saved from going to a lost eternity. Saved from some terrible addiction that is slowly but surely destroying your life. Saved from fear itself, depression, anxiety, and hopelessness. Yes, Jesus' mercy endures forever. I looked up the word mercy. It means kindness. It means compassion. It means generosity. Only one who is qualified to forgive because he paid the full price. And that is our Lord. He died so that you and I can live again. Remember when he forgives, he forgets. Today, why don't you say sorry? Why don't you just repent and say, Lord, I've messed up. Please give me another chance. Well, I've just read it for you. No less than 26 times. In one psalm, he says, my mercy endures forever. Throw those sins of yours into a deep pond, and the Lord will put up a big sign, no fishing. When the Lord forgives, he forgets. Pray this prayer with me today, if you will. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, please forgive me for dropping the ball, for messing up my life. Lord, please help me. I know that the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and I'm still not saved. Lord, I don't know when you're coming back again, but Lord, I need you today. Please forgive me and set me free. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.